Planet Dolan. Why do some astronomers believe the moon isn't actually a moon at all? What substance from the moon has been found to create DNA mutation in humans? From its origin to its eventual destruction, here are 10 things you may not know about the moon. How's it going? I'm Danger Dolan. I'm here to decipher some random things I found on the internet the other day that I think you might be interested in. Number 10. Moon Trash Humans are pretty bad at littering, even on the moon. From all the experiments and missions to the moon, we have left about 200 tons of junk on the surface, including containers of astronaut poop. Number 9. Pluto isn't a planet, but maybe our moon is. That's one theory posed by some astronomers. Our moon is about a quarter of the size of Earth, making it by far the largest moon in the solar system in proportion to the planet it orbits. So technically, the moon doesn't orbit the Earth's core, both the moon and Earth rotate around a biocenter, the central point of gravity between them, located in the Earth's crust. Because of this, some astronomers believe the Earth and moon should be considered a twin planet system, like Pluto and its moon Charon were, back when Pluto was a planet. Number 8. There is actually a man on the moon pretty much at all times these days. Gene Schumacher was a famous astronomer who dedicated his life to the study of the cosmos. He wanted to be an astronaut himself, but a medical issue made that impossible. For his entire life, he always wished to go to the moon, and in 1998, his wish was granted. NASA sent his ashes to the moon with the Lunar Prospector and scattered his ashes there, fulfilling his final wish. Number 7. Just as the moon goes through phases while looking at it from Earth, so too does the Earth go through phases from the moon. Earth goes into crescent and quarter phases, but it doesn't rise or set. The sun does once per month. The phases of the Earth and moon actually mirror each other when it's a new moon on Earth and the moon is seeing a full Earth and vice versa. Number 6. Speaking of phases of the moon, the brightness of it doesn't exactly work the way you'd expect. When you see the moon in its first quarter or last quarter, the phases we often call half moon, you'd think the moon would be half as bright as when it's full, right? Well, not quite. The moon loses half of its brightness when it's only 5% obscured. At its quarter phases, it's about 9% as bright as a full moon. Incidentally, the moon is slightly brighter during its first quarter than its last quarter, simply because those parts of the moon's surface reflect light a little bit better. Number 5. The moon is like a really awkward party guest that doesn't want to be there. It's trying to leave, but it can only move a little bit at a time. The moon is moving about 4 centimeters away from Earth every year. If left uninhibited, it would, over billions of years, eventually take 47 days to orbit the Earth instead of the current 28. At that point, the Earth would also take 47 days to complete a rotation. In other words, one day would take 47 days, and the Earth and moon would rotate in lockstep. But no worries, that's probably not going to happen. Chances are the sun will have grown into a red giant by that point, pulling both the Earth and moon into its surface to be incinerated, which is lovely. Number 4. One prevalent hypothesis about the formation of the moon is the giant impact hypothesis. The theory suggests that a giant Mars-sized object struck a balancing blow to Earth during the early years of its formation about 4 billion years ago, knocking off a huge cloud of dust and rock that eventually formed into a ring around Earth. Over time, the particles in that ring would have slowly been drawn together and over millions of years consolidated it into the moon. Number 3. Studies into whether or not the full moon makes humans and animals act crazy or feral are inconclusive at best, but studies into how the moon affects people's sleep cycles, that might be something. These studies all seem to point to a single correlation. During the night of the full moon, people suck at sleeping. Apparently, many people have their most restless nights of sleep when the moon is full, even when they're not exposed to moonlight. Maybe that's why people act weird during a full moon, they're just not getting enough sleep. Number 2. There are tons of things that could kill you on the moon, a lack of oxygen, the extreme temperatures, and dust. Moon dust is actually one of the most deadly things the moon has to offer. The tiny particles are abrasive and rough, yet stick to basically everything. It can quickly clog up air filters and sensitive equipment, even gumming up zippers and erode right through the feet of spacesuits. That's a huge problem, because moon dust is dangerous even if you just inhale a tiny amount. Scientists tested the effects of a spoonful of moon dust on lung and brain cells and found that the moon dust quickly killed 90% of the cells. The other 10%? No big deal, they just had their DNA mutated. Number 1. Moonquakes are most likely the result of the Earth's gravitational pull, specifically from tidal stress. In other words, the same gravitational forces that cause low tide and high tide on Earth act in the same way on the Moon. Except that the Moon doesn't have oceans, and the Earth has a much stronger gravitational pull than the Moon. So the result of the Moon is something called a solid body tide. Rather than pull oceans around, Earth's gravity is causing the entire shape of the Moon to distort very slightly. 
These shifts build up pressure, creating cracks and faults in the moon, causing moonquakes on a monthly basis. Check out the latest Dolan Card update, Nixiumville. A new character, heaps of new skins, a new power-up, new level, daily missions, and offline mode. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!